Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always in the series about Kotlin for beginners. In today's video, we are going to learn about operators overloading. So let's get started. So you can override default operators in Kotlin to make your code concise and clear. So let's have an example. Let's say we have a class, let's call it just let's call it just a class called point okay and it contains x and y and let's say that we want to create a method that adds two points right so for example we can have something like that it is a point like that add another point and here we will just add the coordinates to each other okay so let's return another point which is the point which is this dot x plus point so let's let's pretend we have this kind of code. Now the way to use this code is simply like the following. Let's say we have this two points and let's just print to see if our code is working correctly or not. So p1, p1 add to p2, like that. All right, so if we print this, let me just, let me pretend this is the data class. So you can use the two string method and let's print that. It will see it will be 11 and 22, hopefully. Okay, so our code is working correctly. Right, now, it would be great if we don't have this add method like that and the two brace. It would be great to express this as plus like that. It would be very great, right? It is clean, concise, and meaningful. All right, we can have this kind of operations which called operators overloading. The way to do that is simply create another function. It will be just the same function. We create another function. We start it by operator like that and function. Now you can't name it anything you want. We have specified names for that. You can press control and space and you will see the different things you can use. The one you are using is the plus, all right? You can, you have to name it plus. You don't have, you don't have other names, okay? You call it plus like that, have a function like that have a return type, okay? So let's see what I'm having problem. So this have must have a single value parameter. So it will be this parameter, all right? This is the first thing. You can return the point like that, and you can basically have the same code, okay? So this will have exactly the same output, all right? So let's print it. And as you can see, it will work. Now you can name this minus, something like that. Let's have the same code. And here you have to type minus. Well, this minus operator is using the plus, so it will show the same result, but you get the idea. You can use different operators. There is many operators you can use. There is the div, the, the decrement, exactly. Decrement is one of the things that we will implement or increment. Let's implement the increment, okay? So if you do something like that, increment, it will be that plus plus like that. And we have to return our, our point. And let's just return, and I will have to do just plus one and here plus one. So you can use basically p1 plus plus, but you will have problem because it will store the result, it will store this point inside that p1, but p1 is var, which is immutable. So we have to turn it to var like that, all right? And this will, it won't work exactly because it happened after. So you have to put it here, all right? So it will 11 and 21, I think, exactly. All right, so this is how you can use operators. You can override many operators. There is many operators you can override. There is even binary or bitwise operators. For example, we have this compared to exactly this one. You have contains using the n, for example. You can use the get. For example, let's say you have some kind of container, right? So with index thing, so you can use this get exactly like with this squared brackets. Get value has next. This invoke, we use it a lot in use cases, okay? And uh, let me see, exactly. Unary plus, unary minus, thanks. You can use plus assign, like we did. We didn't do that, we, have, we use this plus plus, but I'm just showing you the different options we have here. All right, so this is basically, you can use even a lot. So this is basically the different functions you can use. If you go to the documentation of Kotlin, you will see the different things you can use. For example, here's the unary options can use increment, decrement as said, you can use invoke operator. This is a great function, so you can use it as constructor, like that, and many other things. And you can use even that equal, all right? If you see here, let's say that you have A, a string, and you want to compare it to another string. In Java, we used to do A course like that with B, all right? 
but it will tell you that you used equals directly. Why? Because they have overwrite. Why you can use something like that? Because it is overloaded. Okay, if you click here, you will see that the any class is using the operator equals. All right, so you can use that equals instead of using that dot equal function. All right, so this is basically how you can use operators in Kotlin so you can write cleaner and concise code. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.